Welcome back to my channel, Crafty with Nordy. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to make these beehive shaped tea tag pockets using the Cricut app. The tea tags are made from a very thin chipboard or heavyweight craft cardstock. The printed cardstock that I'm using today is so pretty, and it's from Park Lane and it's themed bees. And I believe you can get this right now at Joann's. All the items I use in this video will be listed in the description below. All right, so open up that Cricut app and let's get started. Okay, so now we're here in the Cricut app. Go ahead and hit this plus sign here on the bottom. And to get our beehive shape, we're gonna be using these other shapes. So go ahead and hit shapes down here on the bottom left. And we're gonna select this arch shape. And on the bottom left, corner where it says duplicate that plus sign, go ahead and tap that, flip that shape, and we're just going to butt these up together like that. Okay, make sure one of those shapes is still selected and duplicate two more times, flip that, and you just got to eyeball this right here to whatever looks good to you, okay? Go ahead and tap one of those shapes, duplicate two more times for the next row. And this one's gonna go out a little bit more, okay? And those pink lines are gonna tell us that we're lined up with the shape across or above, okay? And remember, just whatever looks good to you, okay? Duplicate two more times. And these shapes, I'm gonna send them to the back. So you're gonna tap on that, hit edit, and below it says arrange, and I'm gonna send to back. We'll do that with this one too. That way I can see how far, how much, how much I'm overlapping the shape above. And we're just gonna line up with that as you can see, I'm lined up with the shape in the second row. Those pink lines are telling me that. Okay. Tap one of those, duplicate two more times. I'm gonna send these to the back also. And these are just gonna butt up like the top row did. Just like that. Okay, so we have this space in the middle here and we wanna just fill that with another shape just to fill it up. You're gonna hit edit here. Make sure that your width and height is unlocked. That way you can move that shape freely and stretch it, okay? Select the whole thing and hit weld. Go back down to shapes and select the hexagon. And just place that about halfway and right in the center, just like that. So we're, we centered it, but brought it down halfway. Select the whole thing, hit weld. Now we're gonna go back down to shapes and get that hexagon again. And we're gonna, and you can adjust the size here Just fit that in there however you like. A little bit smaller in there. Okay. And now we're gonna select the whole thing and then hit slice. That's right below it. Tap out, tap our shape, move it. Now we got this hexagon there we can get rid of. Okay. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our pocket. So what we wanna do is we wanna tap on our shape that we created hit actions, and then duplicate. Okay, we're gonna put that to the side and then we're gonna go down to shapes and we're gonna select a square. Okay, and we're gonna drag our square and then bring it over halfway. Okay, so we're gonna go halfway through that middle row. Okay, 
And now we're gonna select the whole thing and hit slice. Tap out, tap our bottom shape, put it aside, select this whole thing and delete that. So now we have our pocket. This is gonna be our pocket, okay? And so what we wanna do is select that, our pocket, and then hit edit, and then to the right on the bottom here where it says vertical, we wanna tap that and that's gonna flip it over for us, okay? So now what we wanna do is line that up at the bottom like that and then select the whole thing and hit weld. So this is our shape right here, okay? Okay, so this is our shape right here. So now what we wanna do is we wanna tap on it, hit edit, and then to the left here where it says width and height, that lock in between, make sure it's locked. And on width, we wanna hit four inches. Okay, so now we're at four inches by 6.62. Okay, that's where, where we want it to be. Of course, you can adjust these depending on the size of the tea bag that you're using. Okay. You don't have to make a pocket for this if you don't want to, but this is the pocket version. So if you don't want the pocket, just don't add the pocket, okay? Okay, so now what we wanna do is tap on our shape, hit and hit edit, and then just below where it says offset, you wanna tap that. And you wanna give this a little bit of a border. 1.52 is what I have it set, so I'm gonna go with that. Okay, so now we have two shapes here, okay? This shape here on the left is our offset shape that we just created, and that's gonna be for our chipboard, okay? Now the shape on the right is going to be for our cardstock. Okay, so now with our cardstock piece, okay, this is the, the shape we welded together. We don't need this bottom part here for the pocket that we made. We don't need that piece, okay? We only needed that on the chipboard part of it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this bottom portion that makes up the pocket. So we're gonna go down to shapes, select that square, and we're gonna sh just stretch this. We're just gonna place this over it, this shape. Okay, and we're gonna take off that pocket. So select the whole thing and then hit slice. Tap out, tap our shape, set it aside, and then the rest of this, you can get rid of it. So this is going to be our cardstock shape right here. Okay, now, just so we are clear, this piece on the left is for our chipboard, and as you can see, the hexagon is smaller at the top there. And this piece on the right is going to be our cardstock because it's going to go over. So it's gonna go over like that, okay, once we cut it. So left side is our chipboard. This piece is our cardstock. Go ahead and hit make it. Make sure your Cricut is connected and Get your cardstock on your mat and get ready to load that up and make sure your material setting for your cardstock is set to cardstock or cardstock plus. And once you get that cut, come back, load up your chipboard and put your material setting to what I do for mine is poster board or poster board plus. And that's so, so it's going gonna, it's gonna to do the same cut twice. That way it cuts all the way through, okay? And if your material setting, if, it, if your machine cuts at a lesser setting all the way through your cardstock than, or through your chipboard, then go ahead and use that. But just for my particular machine, that's uh, Poster Board Plus is what I set mine to, okay? All right, so once you're done getting all that cut, um, we'll come back and uh, start assembling. Okay, so now that we got everything cut, we're gonna go ahead and score from this point to this point here. 
okay? And then once you get that all scored, you're gonna take your, your cardstock and you're gonna flip it over. And you're gonna line it up in there just where you need it. And pay attention to this border in here, make sure that's pretty even. So you're gonna fold that up and then you're gonna go ahead and get your pencil and then make a line. And that's gonna be your cut line, okay? And then go ahead and cut that. Okay. Okay, so now what you're gonna do, get this one here. Okay, so you can glue or tape these. I'm gonna go ahead and tape it. And just pay attention to your bordering all the way around and this border in the middle here too, okay? It's not gonna be perfect, however, you're just gonna get it. These are just the more visible areas where you would notice if something was a little bit off. So that's just, you know, something to pay attention to. And then you'll put that on there. You'll close this up and then you'll add your last piece and don't forget to you're going to want to glue or tape the edge right here as well okay so now we got tape on all our like pieces here go ahead and put this together and you want to pay attention to the border in here to make sure that looking a little more even because that that's the area where it's going you're going to notice it the most if it's not okay and then we went ahead and add tape here so you can tape or glue the edges there Okay. And what we're going to do is line up directly to the edge of our pocket and make sure that we're lining up with our other piece up here. Okay. So then it's, it's like that and we still have a border going all the way around. Do my best here to get this on. use that scoring bone to kind of lift it a little bit so it's opened up a little bit to fit our our tea bag and there you go I did make smaller ones when I was trying to figure out the sizing so you know I started out a lot smaller but the tea bag was just too big and then, um, so I went a little bit bigger thinking, you know, that might be all right, but I kept forgetting about the top part, the little tag area. So then I was like, this one might fit, but then I didn't account for the spacing for the tea bag to fit down in the pocket. And so then we went a little bit bigger with this one and I really liked how this one came out. It fit nicely. And then we went but we lost, we lost that one. And so we went back in and remade it. 
and we have this one. So as you can see, you can size these to whatever size you need for your tea bags. Cause I know not all the tea bags are gonna be the exact same size. And some of these I trim up too, just because they'll have like a little sliver that needs to be, you know, just trimmed off. And I'll do that as well. So um, just so that they look a little bit cleaner but I think these came out really cute. I don't know, I, I just think the, the little tea pocket things are, are just absolutely adorable. And I think it's just one of those gifts that, I don't know, that they're just, it's just nice and sweet. And, and it's, it doesn't take much to show somebody that you were thinking of them, you know? And so I think that would, it would be some, a really nice gift to give somebody, even if it's just, you know, by itself. So um, if you like this video, please hit that like button, share this video, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I put out a new video. I do try to put out one video a week. To those of you who have subscribed, thank you so much. I really appreciate you supporting this channel. And to those of you who are new, thank you for watching, and I hope you become one of our subscribers as well. And so that's it for this video. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Have a good one.